Today we will cover the introduction to research data management. This video will help you to understand the general concepts and terms of research data management. We will cover following questions. What are research data? What is research data management? What is a DMP and what means FAIR? I'm Luana Lichtblau from the Open Science team of the University Library Basel. First of all, you might ask the question, what is considered as research data or what is not? Basically, all data that are generated or used during a research process and that are necessary to make the research results traceable are referred to as research data. Research data can include raw or processed data files and tables, gene sequences, models and images, codes, software and algorithms, audio and transcripts, protocols and text corpora, and methods and other useful materials related to the research project. Now we have an idea what research data includes. This leads us to the question, what is research data management? Research data management refers to all activities and decisions during the life cycle of research data, which ranges from the planning and funding of research projects, to the collection and analysis of data, further to the preserving and storing process, to the publishing and sharing process, and the circles being closed by the discovery and reuse of the already established research data. Our next topic are data management plans. But what is a data management plan or so-called DMP? The management of research data does also include having and writing a plan, which provides all the information about the data of your research project. So a data management plan helps you to clarify issues and problems at the beginning of the project. And you might notice one or two administrative things you forgot to plan or take into account, like accessibility and after use of data, as well as things like anonymization, licenses and so on. It helps you to clarify roles, responsibilities and courses of action to successfully complete your work. Almost every good work has had its trial and error phases. Therefore, it is important to note that a DMP is a living document, which undergoes many changes during the course of a project. And as unique as your project is, as unique your DMP will be. One reason for that is because it often underlies discipline-specific standards and conventions, which must be considered. A DMP might just seem like another requirement for your fund request or journal publication, but mainly it is you and your project that will profit from it. Another important concept to know about for research data management is the FAIR principles. The FAIR principles were first published in 2016 with the intent that these act as guideline for those who want to enhance the reusability and findability of their research data. They originally include 15 principles which are rather complex and tend to overlap each other. Therefore, we will try to break them down to the most essential criteria to make your data FAIR. FAIR is an acronym and stands for Findable, Accessible, Interoperable, Reusable. Findable means that the data and metadata can be discovered by both humans and machines. To make data findable, enough detailed descriptive metadata should be provided, as well as persistent identifiers. In other words, long-lasting references to digital resources. For example, an URL would be an identifier that is not persistent and could change over time. And on the other hand, a DOI, digital object identifier, could be persistent since it does not refer to a location on the web that can change its content, but directly to the digital object. In addition, there is a need for meaningful keywords in order for the data to be found on online searches and search engines and research data catalogs. Accessible. 
means that the data and metadata can be accessed by both humans and machines and are archived in long-term repositories. The repository should be free, no cost, and globally accessible, so anyone with a computer and an internet connection can at least access the metadata. If necessary, the access can be restricted, but the metadata and information on how the data can be accessed and used have to be provided and ideally be readable by machines too, for example in form of standard licenses like the Creative Commons license. Interoperable means data and metadata can be exchanged and used across different applications and systems. Also in the future, for example, by using open file formats for long-term preservation. Metadata also should use formal, accessible, shared and broadly applicable language for knowledge representation, such as agreed-upon controlled vocabularies. It also means that the data can be integrated with other data from the same research field or data from other research fields. This is possible by using metadata standards, standard ontologies, as well as meaningful links between the data and related digital research objects. Reusable means that the data are well documented and provide rich information about the context of data creation, so they can be reused. Reused in a sense that others can assess the results of the research project thus ensuring data reproducibility, or work with the data to create a new project and therefore avoiding duplication effort. Also, the usage rights should be described in form of a license, for example, MIT or Creative Commons license. It is also important to note that FAIR is not a standard. The FAIR guiding principles are sometimes incorrectly referred to as standard, even though the original publication explicitly states they are not. FAIR simply describes the qualities or behaviors required of data resources to achieve their optimal discovery and scholarly use. The principles are not necessarily about open data. You can work in a fair manner with data that is not intended for public availability. They do, however, require clarity and transparency around the conditions governing access and reuse. FAIR is not only available to individual researchers, but the conditions on the access of any piece of data is always determined by the data owner. Thank you for your attention. Please visit our website for more details, where you can also find our training and workshop offers. You can also contact us with concrete questions.